Hi, my name is Tez Jasty, and today I'll be talking about something that is very relatable to a few people. Have you ever been in a public place, you're buying your groceries, and you just hear this noise just over there, over there, and you think, what is that? What, what's going on? Have you ever seen someone that's not like you or your friends? They're different. What do you think? From personal experience, I see the looks on people's faces, and all they, all they, all that I can see is, what the heck's wrong with that guy? Why is he like that? Why is he here? But no, living with my autistic cousin, I've changed my mindset. Being younger, when I saw someone different, I used to think the same. Disabled people would be like, what's wrong with that guy? Why is he here? But no, gaining responsibility over my little cousin has changed my mindset to be, how can I help? What can I do to make a difference? Living with my autistic cousin has changed the way I see others in public places. When I was little, I used to feel that if you were normal. There's two categories to life. You're normal or you're different. And I used to see different people as weird. I didn't respect them. But before, after gaining responsibility over my cousin, I saw the struggles that he faced in everyday life. Brushing his teeth, someone had to do it. You can all wake up every morning, brush your teeth, take a shower. He needed help. I felt bad. It was just, it was more or less a motivation to me to see how much difficulty these people have every day. I remember it was a nice Saturday and I'd been in a grocery store. And there had been an older woman who had been walking around, in a, or rolling around in a wheelchair. And she had asked me, young man, c could you help me get that? And she pointed to his box of cereal, out of her reach. And I stared at her and I said, sorry, I'm good. Those were probably the most, reg that's probably the most regretful thing I've ever and done. this is the call for eighth graders who need retakes or for their... I remember going home that night and year, thinking, down in the library. what if I did and something? What if I... Okay. Just start that sentence or that paragraph wherever you feel comfortable. Okay. I remember thinking, what if I helped her? Would that have changed? who I was, how she felt about me. And I remember thinking, man, I messed up. I should, it was an easy task. I was just like, nope, I can't do it. And it was there where I realized that I really got to change. It is proven that 3.5 million people have autism or another mental disease in the US. There's about, about a 14th of the population of the world has autism. These 3.5 million people same, face the same struggles as that old lady. They can't do everyday tasks. They can't. They try, but they really can't. So when they were told no, all I thought was, how did they feel? Another way that living with my autistic cousin has changed my life is how I view other autistic people. A lot of people view people with autism as different weird and really they're bullied because of how they are and it shouldn't be that way before i gained responsibility i used to do things half 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 ass as my mom would say if i was told to vacuum i vacuum the kitchen and i'd stop if i was told to clean the bathroom i'd wash my own hands and stop i was very selfish growing up but i realized living with him it changes how i felt i it made me see that if I only do things half, then it'll, it'll impact me positively, but another person negatively. If I do the whole job, it'll make me feel good, it'll make that person feel good, and feeling good is a great feeling. The most important way living with my autistic cousin is I'm willing to help now. I don't think what's wrong with him. What's wrong with her? Why is he like that? Why are you so weird? What's wrong with you? I don't think that. I think, what can I do to help? How can I change? And it's not just me. 
There's other people all around the world that are doing this. Like this young man. He was given a $30,000 scholarship to college just for helping an autistic person. But it's not that he did it because he knew that he'd get something for it. He did it out of his heart. And th what I hope you learned from my TED Talk today is that be the person that you want be the person that you want to be. Make sure that you're there for others. Thank you.